praise the Lord. Hallelujah. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Praise the Lord. To God be the glory. I want to welcome you this morning. Your life will never be the same. As you join in, as you pray, hear the word of God. The Lord will touch you. The Lord will impact your lives. The Bible says, time spent with God is always painful. When you and I we are together, we will do exploit. But I would say one will chase a thousand, two will chase ten thousand. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. God bless you for coming up. God bless you for coming up. God bless you. God bless you for coming up. God bless you. 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 Father, we thank you for today. We thank you for yet another time in your presence. In your presence, there is fullness of joy. In your presence, there are pleasures forever and evermore. We thank you for such an honor, opportunity, rather to hear your word, to be part of the saints in the light. We give you all the praise and adoration. We pray we stand on your word. Revelation 12, 11, and overcoming by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of our testimony. Overcome every works of darkness, every works of wickedness. You overcome them right now by the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. In Jesus' name we pray. Thanks to God. Amen. Amen. God bless you. 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 So let's go straight to the Word of God this morning. This morning, the Word of God is coming your way. The title of the Word of God, um, the, the preaching that is coming your way is a call to repentance. A call to repentance. And we're taking the scripture from Matthew chapter 4, verse 17. Woman of God, please read for me. Thank you very much. Matthew chapter 4, verse 17. From that time... Jesus began to preach and to say, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Amen. Praise the Lord. The Bible says, From that time, Jesus began to preach and declared that repent, for the kingdom of God is at hand. Amen. Praise the Lord. Repent, for the kingdom of God is at hand. The kingdom of heaven is at hand. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Beloved, the Bible says our salvation draws nearer than when we first believed. When you and I, we are children of God, praise the Lord. Amen. We have to work towards our salvation. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. But the scripture is telling you and I the importance of one to repent. Praise the Lord. Amen. The Bible says Jesus was calling everybody to repent. Praise the Lord. Amen. He wasn't calling a specific group. Praise the Lord. He spoke loud. And he declared it. Praise the Lord. Amen. He said, from that time, Jesus began to preach and to say, repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Amen. Praise the Lord. The Bible says in the book of Mark chapter 1, verse 15, repent and believe the gospel. Praise the Lord. Amen. When you and I repent, we believe the word of God. Praise the Lord. Amen. We become doers of the word of God. Amen. The word of God becomes a light unto our path Amen. and a lamp unto our feet. Amen. Praise the Lord. Jesus came to tell you and I to repent. He didn't tell you and I to forgive. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. He started his ministry with repentance. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. He did not talk about forgiveness. Amen. He did not talk about love. He started by telling you and I 
the need for you and I to repent. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Repentance Amen. is very, very important. It is the foundation of a, a Christian. Amen. It is a foundation of every believer. Amen. Without repentance, beloved, you cannot show love. Amen. Praise the Lord. You'll be showing love with your own self-righteousness. Praise the Lord. Amen. The Bible says that you know, by strength shall no man prevail. Amen. Our strength cometh from the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. And he came to show us the way. Amen. John chapter 14, verse 6. The Bible says he's the way, the truth, and the life. And Jesus was telling you and I that we have to start with repentance. Amen. Repentance is very important. It is a call for every Christian, every believer. Amen. Without repentance, beloved, you cannot be a child of God. Praise Amen. the Lord. Amen. It is very, very important, woman of God. Amen. Without repentance, none can be a child of God. Praise the Lord. Amen. In the book of Luke, chapter 5, verse 32, Jesus stated by saying, I've not come to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. All of us, without Jesus Christ, beloved, we cannot be saved. Amen. We cannot obtain repentance. Amen. Repentance only comes through Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. The book of Acts chapter 4 verse 12. The Bible says there is no other name given unto man for salvation except Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. Praise the Lord. The book of Romans chapter 1 verse 16 says Jesus Christ is the power of God unto salvation to whoever that believes. Praise the Lord. Amen. Repentance is very important for you and I. Without repentance, beloved, as I said before, we cannot become children of God. Amen. Praise the Lord. When we repent, it means we are doing away with our, our, our former nature. We are doing away with our own self-righteousness. When we repent, it means we are, we, we are not dependent on, on our own self. Praise the Lord. Amen. For salvation. Amen. We, because we do not create ourselves. Amen. There is a God in heaven Amen. who created you and I. Praise the Lord. Amen. The Bible says God created man in his own image. Praise the Lord. Amen. Ezekiel chapter 18 verse 4 tells you and I, every soul belongs to God. Hallelujah. Every soul belongs to God Amen. because God created you and I. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. The Bible says, Ezekiel 18 4, Behold, every soul belongs to me. Both father and son are mine. Amen. The soul who sin will die. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. If you don't know Jesus, the Bible says Jesus, as I said before, is the way, the truth, and the life. Hallelujah. Jesus is the grace of God for Amen. salvation. Amen. The book of Titus chapter 2, the man of God, verse 11 to 12, it tells you and I, praise the Lord, Amen. in this era, in this generation, what has been given to us is Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. Amen. Please read for me. Titus chapter 2, verse 11. Mm -hmm. For the grace of God that brings salvation has appeared to all men. The Bible says the grace of God that brings salvation has appeared to all men. Teaching, yes. Teaching us that denying ungodliness and worldly lust, we should live soberly. So the grace of God is teaching us to deny what? Ungodliness. Yes, godly lust, yes. We should live soberly. And that we should live soberly, yeah? Righteously. Righteously. And godly in and the godly. present age. In this present age, continue for me. Looking for the blessed hope and glorious appearing of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Beloved, this is very, very important. First of all, Jesus Christ has been presented to you and I. Woman of God, read it again. Very, very vital scripture. Read it again for me. Type. Titus chapter, chapter 2, two yes. verse, verse 11, 11 to 12, to 12. Yes. Yeah, to 11 to 12, 12, yes. to 12. For the grace of God yes. that brings salvation yes. has appeared to all men, teaching us that, denying ungodliness and worldly lusts, we should live soberly, righteously, and godly in the present age. In the present end. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. So Jesus Christ came to teach us, came to show us the way of righteousness. Hallelujah. Came that you and I will have his very nature. So that you and I we can be conformed to him. Amen. And to be able to conform to him, 
you must start with repentance. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. To know the ways of God, you must first receive Him. Praise the Lord. Amen. John 3 16 tells you and I, for God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whoever that believes in Him shall not perish, but will have everlasting life. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. It is important for you and I to believe. Believe in the Son, the only begotten of the Father, the Lamb of God, that takes away the sins of this world. The Bible tells us Jesus Christ is the Lamb of God Amen. that takes away the sins of this world. Praise the Lord. Amen. He is our, 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 our Savior. Hallelujah. The Bible says that He came in this world to save us all. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus came to save you and I. In the book of John chapter 3 verse 17, what does He say? He says that Jesus Christ has been given to us, human of God. Please quickly thank you. John chapter 3, mm -hmm. verse 17. Mm -hmm. For God did not send his son yes. into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. But that the world through him might be saved. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. It is through Jesus Christ that you and I, we can obtain salvation. Without Jesus Christ, we cannot obtain salvation. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. It is very, very important that you and I, we are aware of it. The Bible says that God hates sin. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. God, our God is sin. Our God is a righteous God. Praise the Lord. Amen. And the scripture tells us in John chapter 3, 36. Praise the Lord. Jesus Amen. Christ has been offered to us. Please read for me. Please read John, I read that. I mentioned please read quickly. John me. chapter 3, verse 36. Yes. He who believes in the Son has everlasting life. And he who does not believe the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God abides on him. Praise the Lord. Amen. So the Son has been given to you and I. Praise the Lord. Amen. Jesus Christ is the Savior of this world. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ is the gift of God to mankind. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. The Bible tells Ephesians chapter uh, 2, woman of God, 8 and 9. Please, what does it say? It says that we have been saved by grace, Ephesians. not according to our own words. Yes. Ephesians chapter 2, verse 8 and 9. For by grace you have been saved through faith, and that not of yourselves. It is the gift of God, not of works, lest anyone should boast. So Christ Jesus is the gift of God, praise the Lord, Amen. to mankind. God wants to save his people, so he gave his own recordings and Jesus Christ. That whoever that believes, salvation will be your, your portion. Amen. Repentance will be your portion. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. As I said, when we believe, we begin to have his nature. Amen. When we don't believe, we cannot know what is right for Amen. you and I. We cannot walk in the holiness of God, Amen. the righteousness of God. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It is through Jesus Christ. The Bible tells you and I. Man of God, read for me. First John chapter 4, verse 9. First John 4, verse 9. Tell me what is that. First John chapter 4 verse 9. Mm -hmm. In this the love of God was manifested toward us, that God has sent his only begotten son into the world, that we might live through him. Amen. God, the love of God, yes, uh, was manifested. Was manifested to you and I, yes. That God has sent his only begotten God son. God has sent his only begotten son. Into the world. Into the world. That we might live through him. That we might live through him. Amen. So without Jesus Christ, there is no salvation. Amen. Jesus Christ is what has been given to you and I. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. That we might live through him. Amen. Jesus Christ is the light of this world. Amen. John chapter 8, verse 12. Amen. Jesus speaking to you and I. He tells you and I. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I am the light of this world. Amen. I am the light of this world. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The book of John chapter 1 verse 4. It tells you and I that in him was life. The life was the light of men. Amen. John chapter 1 verse 4. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. In Jesus was life. Hallelujah. That life was the light of men. We cannot do without Jesus. Amen. They cannot do without Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise Lord. Amen. And as I said before, God hates sin. So God has made praise Lord, a provision for you and I, for you and I to be saved. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The book of Galatians chapter 3 verse 22 tells you and I all have been confined to to, 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 to sin. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Man, look, please read for me. Galatians chapter 3 verse 22. Mm -hmm. But the scripture has confined all under sin, that the promise by faith 
in Jesus Christ must might be given to those who believe. Might be given to those who believe. All of us. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Again, the scripture tells us in the book of Romans chapter 3, verse 26. What does it say? All have sinned and come short to the glory of God. I want you to read for me. Thank you. Romans chapter 3, verse 23. Yeah, verse 23. Thank All you. have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. All have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. But you see, you and I, we have to repent. Hallelujah. Repentance is, is a beginning for every Christian, Amen. for every believer. Praise the Lord. Without repentance, beloved, we cannot be children of God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. Jesus came. He started his ministry with repentance. Amen. That you and I, we must repent. Amen. Praise the Lord. Because sin is a reproach. The Bible tells us, Proverbs chapter 34, verse 14, sin is what? A reproach. Sin covers our glory. Sin limits you and I. Praise the Lord. Amen. The way out for, is for you and I to repent. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. But also, when we sin, we sin against God. Amen. Psalm 51, verse 4. When we sin, we sin against God. Isaiah 59, verse 3 says, Our iniquities have separated us from God. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Our iniquities have separated us from God. Romans 6, 23 says, The wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life. Amen. True Christ Jesus. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. The Bible goes on to tell you and I, woman of God, Romans chapter 1, verse 18. Romans chapter 1, verse 18. For the wrath of God is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness and unrighteousness of men who suppress the truth in unrighteousness. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. The wrath of God is revealed from, from heaven. Amen. Against all forms of what? Ungodliness. Amen. And unrighteousness of men who Amen. suppress the truth in an unrighteousness. Amen. What is this telling you and I? So God is against the sinner. The scripture says, everyone that sin will die. The soul that sins will die. Praise the Lord. Amen. And that is why you and I, we have to repent. If we don't repent, we will die. We will perish. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The Bible tells us, woman, God, please read for me. The book of uh, John chapter 3. John chapter 3, verse 18, 19. John chapter 3, verse 18, 19. He who believes in, in him is not condemned, but he who does not believe is condemned. That's what I need. He who does not believe, yeah, is condemned. Yes, con read that from verse 18, yes. Okay. He who believes is not condemned, but he who does not believe is condemned already. So, he who does not believe is condemned. If you don't believe, you cannot receive repentance. It is true, Jesus Christ. When you believe, repentance begins there. When you begin, repentance starts from there. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. The Bible says, whoever that calls upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Hallelujah. So, if you don't believe... You cannot become a child of God. Amen. If you don't believe, it means you are still in your sin. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. The Bible tells us again, John 3, 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Amen. That whoever that believes in him shall not perish, but will have everlasting life. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. In the book of Romans chapter 12, verse 2, the Bible says, Do not be conformed to the things of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Amen. This is very important. We see Jesus speaking to uh, Nicodemus in the book of John chapter 3, verse 3 and 5. Mother God, please read for me. John chapter 3, verse 3 and 5. Jesus answered and said to him, Most assuredly, I say to you, unless one is born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Nicodemus said to him, how can a man be born when he is old? Can he enter a second time into his mother's womb and be born? Jesus answered, Most assuredly, I say to you, unless one is born of water and the Spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. Amen. Praise the Lord. So Jesus was speaking to Nicodemus. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. They need to repent. Amen. They need to have a change of mindset. Mm, yeah. Praise the Lord. Amen. Repentance is a change of mindset. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Jesus was telling Nicodemus how important for, for him to receive him. 
Amen. Praise God. Because the Bible talks about woman of God. Uh, the scripture tells us in a very important scripture that the first Adam had what? Was made of a what? Was a living soul. The second Adam had a quickening spirit. Praise the Lord. Amen. The second Adam had a quickening spirit. Please read for me. Hallelujah. Amen. The second Adam had a quickening spirit. What is it telling you and I? Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. That through Jesus Christ, Amen. there is a uniqueness. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. We are not ordinary people. Through Jesus Christ, that we have the spirit of the Lord Amen. that that abode in us. We receive him. Praise the Lord. Come on, God, please read for me. First Corinthians chapter 15, verse 45. And so it is written, the first man adam became yes. a living being yeah the last adam became a living a life given spirit yes the so bible say the first man adam was a living soul another version is a living being praise the lord amen and the, the, the last adam the, the bible said the first adam was made a living soul the last adam was made a quickening praise the lord amen. another version says life giving spirit hallelujah. praise the lord amen. hallelujah amen. so Jesus Christ, as I said, is, is the Lamb of God Hallelujah. that takes away the sins of this world. Amen. When we see Jesus Christ, praise the Lord, the Bible says the, 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 the first Adam couldn't give us that life-giving spirit. Praise the Lord. Amen. Through Jesus Christ, we have life-giving spirit. Hallelujah. The Spirit of the Lord enters you and I when we call ourselves believers. Amen. Ephesians chapter 1 verse 13. Please read for me. Ephesians chapter 1, verse 13. Yes. In him, in him you also trusted, after you heard the word of truth, the gospel of your salvation, in whom also, having believed, you were sealed with the Holy Ghost, Holy Spirit of promise. Well, having believed, when we believe, we are sealed. With the Holy Spirit of promise. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. This is very important. So if you are not a child of God, if you dwell in sin, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Once again, let's repeat Galatians chapter 3, 22 for me. Thank you. Galatians chapter 3, verse 22. Mm -hmm. But the scripture has confined all under sin, that the promise by faith in Jesus Christ might be given to those who believe. <laughs> Amen. The promise of God. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And as I said, if you believe in Jesus Christ by faith, the Bible says it's not about your own works. It is not about your strength. Praise the Lord. Amen. He gives you, he, he, there's an exchange. The Bible says an exchange has taken place Amen. for you and I to become children of God. Hallelujah. The scripture tells us in 1 Corinthians chapter 5, 21, that he became sin for us so that we can become the righteousness of God. Praise the Lord. Amen. Jesus became sin for us so that we can become the righteousness of God. Amen. We could not do without without Jesus. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Jesus. Well, Jesus was an exchange for you and Hallelujah. I. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. The Bible says that you know it, it was a, a better promise. Woman of God, give me to me. Book of Hebrews talks about a better promise for us. Hebrews chapter eight fifteen, I believe. Praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. Lord, yeah, this Holy Spirit is taking us another way. Praise the Lord. So Hallelujah. you find this for me. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And also, yes, quickly, man of God. We are on set. And for this reason, yes, yes. eight fifteen. Yes. Hebrews 8 said, Yes, one of continue. But, but now mm -hmm. he has obtained a more excellent ministry, inasmuch as he is also mediator of a better covenant, which was established on better promises. Praise the Lord. That's Hebrews chapter 8, 6. Yes. Praise and read Hebrews chapter 9, verse 15. Hebrews chapter 9, verse 15. And for this reason, he is the mediator of the new covenant by means of death for the redemption of the transgressions under the first covenant that those who are called 
may receive the promise of the eternal inheritance. Perfect. Amen. Beautiful. The Bible says, and for this reason, he is the mediator of the new covenant by means of death. Hallelujah. Jesus came to die for you and I on Hallelujah. the cross. The Bible says, for the redemption of the transgressions under the first covenant, which is the first Adam who had what was made of a living soul, yes. human being, praise the Lord. Amen. And men were still sinning. Men were still under sin. Praise the Lord. Amen. We talk about the law of Moses. Praise the Lord. Amen. People were still under sin. The Lord could not deliver them from 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 sin. They kept sinning. Praise the Lord. Amen. The Bible goes on to tell you and I. It is through Jesus Christ. The Bible says the transgressions. So not just what the transgression mm -hmm. under the first covenant that those who are called may receive the promise of the eternal inheritance. Hallelujah. So it's through Jesus Christ that we receive that grace. That life-giving spirit. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. The life-giving spirit qualifies us to become children of God. Amen. It qualifies us to walk in holiness and in righteousness. It qualifies us to walk in the spirit. Amen. It qualifies us to have the mind of Christ. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Without Jesus Christ, praise the Lord, you cannot have the, the descending spirit. Praise the Lord. Amen. The Bible tells us in 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 14, that the natural man, the unbeliever, cannot descend the things of the Spirit. Praise the Lord, because they have not received Jesus. Amen. Praise the Lord. But you and I, when we receive Jesus Christ, it means that we're able to reason, Amen. we're able to, to know what, what we're about to do is not right. Amen. The Bible says the Spirit of the Lord inside that prompts us. Amen. The Spirit of the Lord is at work within us. Hallelujah. The Spirit of the Lord, praise the Lord, helps us. Amen. The Spirit of the Lord leads us to the truth. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So change of mindset is very important. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. That you and I, we have to repent. Repentance, as I said, is about change of mindset. Amen. This is what Jesus was talking to, to Nicodemus about. Praise the Lord. Amen. It's not about your credibility. Praise the Lord. Amen. And Nicodemus was the leader of the, well, he was the leader of the Jew. Praise the Lord. Amen. He was the man of uh, high stature in society. Praise Amen. the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. He was a man of reputation. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. In society. Mm -hmm. But Jesus was telling Nicodemus, it's not about what you have. You cannot be qualified by your own credibility. Praise the Lord. Amen. By your own credibility. By your own praise your strength. Praise the Bible says, by strength shall no man prevail. Amen. It's not by might, nor by power. It is by the Spirit of the Lord. Hallelujah. The Spirit of the Lord that quickens you and I to function. Praise the Lord. Amen. The Bible says it is the, the Lord that will let for you and I to function Amen. and to do His good pleasure. Amen. We cannot do without the Spirit leading. So when we don't repent, we don't have the Spirit of God. Amen. When we don't repent, we cannot become sons of God. Praise the Lord. Amen. The book of John chapter 1 verse 12 says, To them that receive him, he gave them power to become sons of God. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. You and I, we must repent. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Jesus came to announce to us, praise the Lord, Amen. to repent. Amen. Repentance is very, very important in you and I, our lives. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. The Bible tells you and I, woman of God, in Philippians chapter 4, Verse 22 to 24. This is very important. I will be going to spend a bit more time on this. Praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. Please read for me. Ephesians chapter 4, 22 to 24. Mm -hmm. Ephesians Ephes chapter 4, yeah. verse 22 to 24. Yes. That you put off mm -hmm. concerning your former conduct, yeah. the old man, mm -hmm. which grows corrupt according to the deceitful lust, mm -hmm. and be renewed in the spirit of your mind, and that you put on the new man, which was created according to God, in true righteousness and holiness. Amen. So the Bible says, be renewed in the spirit of your mind. Amen. So when you and I, we tell ourselves we have repented, the Bible says, we must be renewed in the spirit of our minds. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. The spirit of our minds must be renewed. Amen. It says, and that you put on the new man, which was created according to God in true righteousness and holiness. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. When you and I receive Jesus Christ, as I said, the spirit of the Lord comes and 
abode in us. Praise the Lord. The Amen. Spirit of the Lord comes inside us. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. It comes inside us. Praise the Lord. Supernaturally. Amen. When you receive Jesus Christ, the Spirit of the Lord, you, the Spirit of the qualifies you that Amen. you are a child of God. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You are no more. You know, the Spirit of Christ is in you. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. As I said in Ephesians chapter 113. Praise the Lord. Amen. But you see, woman of God, it is a process. It is a process. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Christianity is a process. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You cannot be a child of God today. Praise the Lord. Amen. I, I, and know all the things that you have to be doing. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. The Bible talks about and put on Ephesians chapter 4 verse 24. It said put on the new man yes. which was created according to God in true righteousness and holiness. Amen. How do we put on the the, the 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 new man praise the lord amen it is through the word of god hallelujah hallelujah amen the bible says it is through the word of god that we can put on the new man amen the bible tells us first uh peter chapter 2 verse 2 what does it say first peter chapter 2 verse 2 praise the lord as newborn babes yes please read from your reading. as newborn babes yes first peter chapter 2 verse 2 yeah as newborn babes, desire the pure milk of the word, Praise that Lord. you may grow thereby. Hallelujah. Amen. As newborn babes, des desire the, the pure milk of the word. Amen. So you want, uh, it is the, the word of God that qualifies us to grow. Amen. Without the word of God, you cannot grow. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. And as I said before, Psalm 119 verse 9, how can a young man cleanse his way? What was it by heeding to the word of God? Amen. Psalm 119, verse 9. Amen. You can only cleanse your way by heeding to the word of God. Amen. And as I said before, human beings, we are made of body, spirit, and soul. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. If you are a child of God, the spirit of the Lord is within Amen. you. Praise the Lord. Amen. So when you repent, praise the Lord. Amen. When you repent, your spirit, as I said, the spirit of the Lord is, is inside you. Amen. You are a child of God. But your soul is the same. Praise the Lord. Amen. Your soul is the same. Praise the Lord. Amen. It takes the word of God. You growing in the word of God. And then eventually, the, your soul lines up with the spirit. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. And that is how your inner man even become more strengthened. Hallelujah. Because your soul is now lined up with your spirit. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. You are actually a doer of the word of God. Amen. But you must be a doer. Of the word of God. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Steady to show yourself approved to God. Praise the Lord. Amen. The Bible tells you and I, praise the Lord, about Joshua chapter 1, verse 8. This law of the this book of the law. This book of the law must not depart from your mouth. But thou shalt meditate on it day and night. Amen. The Bible says, adhere to all that is written. The Bible says, only then will you be prosperous Amen. and have good success Hallelujah. so it is important that you and i praise the lord Amen. it is through the word of god that we grow if Amen. we don't study the word of god we cannot grow Amen. praise the lord Amen. one of god if we don't study the word of god we cannot grow it is through the word of god that we can put on the new man Amen. greater in what greater in, in, in the bible said it is through the the, the 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 word of god that we can put on the new man which was created according to God yeah. in true righteousness Amen. and holiness. Amen. It is through the word of God that we can be conformed to the image of Hallelujah. God. Romans chapter 8 verse 29. Amen. Without the word of God, we cannot grow. Hallelujah. So Christianity is a process. Amen. Yes, when you repent, praise the Lord, Amen. the spirit of the Lord is at work in you. Amen. But complete repentance is when you and I, we, we continually, you know, the Bible says, seek God with what? Fear and trembling. Praise the Lord. Amen. Seek your salvation with what? Fear and trembling. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You have to seek your salvation with fear and trembling. Amen. It is not just okay Amen. for you and I to, to receive Jesus Christ, but yet we are not walking according to his ways. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Many have received Jesus Christ. Many have said to themselves, we have repented, but yet they are not walking the righteousness of God. Amen. Praise the Lord. In, in the book of uh, um, again, um, Galatians chapter 3. Galatians chapter 3. We see Paul the Apostle speaking to uh, the, the, the Galatians. Praise the Lord. Amen. I, I want you to start from 
verse 1 onwards to me. Galatians chapter 3 verse 1 onwards. O oh, foolish Galatians, who has bewitched you that you should not obey the truth before whose eyes Jesus Christ was clearly portrayed among you as crucified? This only I want to learn from you. Did you receive the Spirit by the works of the law or by hearing or by the hearing of faith? Of faith. Are you so foolish? Are you so foolish? Having begun in the Spirit, are you now being made perfect by the flesh? Have you suffered so many things in vain, if indeed it was in vain? Therefore, he who supplies the Spirit... It's okay. Thank, thank you, man of God. Thank you. So, beloved, this is very important. The Bible says they started in the Spirit. Praise the Lord. Amen. But somehow, they were going off. They were, they were walking in the flesh. Praise the Lord. Amen. You and I, the Bible tells you and I, the importance of remaining in the Spirit. Amen. The important, Galatians chapter 5, verse 16, what does it say? It says, walk in the Spirit. Excuse me. Walk in the Spirit that you not fulfill the deeds of the flesh. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. But we say they started very well in, in the Spirit. Along the way, they failed to, you know, to hold on to the Word of God. Amen. They, they failed to hold on to the Word of God. Why? Because they were, they, 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 they didn't dwell in it. They, they, they were one feet there, one feet away from it. Yeah. Psalm chapter 1, what does he say? Blesses the man who does not walk in the counsel of the ungodly, but his desire is in the law of the Lord. Please read for me. And, he's in, and in his law, he will meditate day and night. Psalm chapter 1, mm -hmm. verse 1 and 3. 1, 2, 3. Blessed is the man who walks not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor stands in the path of sinners, nor sits in the seat of the scornful, but his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law he meditates day and night. He shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that brings forth its fruit in its season, whose leaf also shall not wither, and whatever he does shall prosper. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Beloved, this is very important. You and I, we have to understand this. That if we don't hold on to God's word, true repentance cannot be apportioned. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Jesus is calling you and I, praise the Lord, Amen. to turn away from our sins completely. Amen. And to be able to turn away from our sins completely means that you and I have to depend on His word. Amen. It is through the word of God that we can overcome the enemy. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. The word of God is our armor. The word of God is the sword of the spirit. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. In fact, the scripture tells us in Second Peter chapter one, three and four. Please, you man, who read for me. Thank you very much. Second Peter chapter one, yeah. three and four. Yeah. As His divine power has given to us all things that pertain to life and godliness through the knowledge of Him who called us by glory and virtue by which have been given to us exceedingly great and precious promises, that through these you may be partakers of the divine nature, having ex escaped the corruption that is in the world through lust. Praise Amen. Lord. Amen. What is the Bible telling you now? It says that God's divine nature has given to us all the things that pertain to life Amen. and godliness Amen. through the knowledge of him. Hallelujah. What is that knowledge of him? Through the word of God, Hallelujah. the Bible says that the, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Amen. Because of lack of knowledge, my people perish. Amen. If you and I don't have the word of God, Amen. more of God, we cannot be empowered. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Our rightfully given strength or power of God cannot manifest. Amen. If we, we work anyhow, if we work anyhow, if we are not serious, if we are hot and cold, praise the Lord. Amen. Beloved, we cannot see the power that is in him. Amen. That's what the Bible says. His divine power, Amen. his divine power has given to us all things. Hallelujah. The, through the knowledge Amen. of him. Amen. So as we hold on to the word of God, the word of God, as I said, 
is our armor. Amen. The word of God is the sword of the spirit. Hallelujah. The word of God is sharper than any two double-edged sword. Amen. Hebrew chapter 4 verse 12. It says, for the word of God is living and it is active. Amen. It is sharper than any two double-edged sword. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. When you and I will have the knowledge of him, praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. It can only happen when you and I will put on the new man. Amen. And the new man can only be put on when you and I will study the scriptures. Hallelujah. When you and I, praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Repentance, praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. A true repentance is when you and I will continue to study the, the word of God. Amen. We continue to walk daily in his word. Amen. We continue to make the word of God. So the word of God, Psalm 119, yes. verse 105. It's a light unto our heart and a lamp unto our feet. Amen. True repentance is when you and I we continue with perseverance, Amen. holding on to the word of God. Hallelujah. In fact, the scripture tells us in Romans chapter 2, verse 7. Man of God, please read for me. Romans chapter 2, verse 7. Eternal life to those who by patient continuance in doing good seek for glory, honor, and immortality. Praise the Lord. So the Bible says eternal life, you want. Continuous. You don't quit. See, the word of God, God wants to have a relationship with you. Amen. The Bible tells us, in, again, Matthew chapter 11, verse 29. Learn of me. Praise the Lord. Amen. For my yoke is what? Light. And my burden is what? Easy. Easy. So the word of God tells us that God wants us to have a relationship with him. Amen. God wants us to be engaging with him. Amen. God wants you and I to fellowship with him. Amen. God wants you and I, praise the Lord, to be connected with him. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The scripture tells us that men ought to pray and not to faint. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Pray without ceasing. This is all telling you and I that we must be before God Amen. every day of our life. Amen. Praise God. A God of repentance is not just receiving Jesus Christ. When you receive Jesus Christ, it's your first step. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. But to continue to, to walk in that authority, that victory Amen. is through the word of God. Hallelujah. The Bible tells us in Galatians chapter 5, the man of God, verse 17. What does it say? It says the flesh is in contention with the spirit. Praise the Lord. Amen. They are in conflict with one another. Amen. Yes, please read for me. Galatians chapter 5, verse 17. For the flesh lusts against the spirit, and the spirit against the flesh. And these are contrary to one another, so that you do not do the things that you wish. Amen. So that you don't do the things that you want. You wish Amen. the flesh is in contention with one another Amen. so that you don't do the things that you wish. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. You and I, we have to learn of Him. Amen. We have to be a doer of His word, Amen. not our own self righteousness. Amen. Praise the Lord. We have to learn of Him. We have to be a partaker of His divine nature. Amen. And that can only be, be, can only be achieved if you and I, we walk according to that. The, the, the principles of God, the commandments Amen. of God. Hallelujah. Amen. A call of repentance Amen. is for you and I. Amen. Praise the Lord. This Amen. is part one. We'll leave it here. we continue part two Amen. tomorrow. Hallelujah. Who is like unto thee? Oh, oh Lord, 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 who is like unto thee? Yes, Lord. Oh, oh Lord, who is like unto thee? Oh, oh Lord, among the gods. Who is like thee? She was glorious in holiness, fearful in praises. Do you want this hallelujah? Among the gods, among the gods, who is like thee? She was glorious in holiness, fearful in praises. Do you want this hallelujah? Wonders, do you want this hallelujah? Sing wonders, do you wonders, hallelujah? Singing wonders, do you wonders, hallelujah? 
Oh, thank you, Father, for your love and kindness. Thank you, Jesus. We thank, thank you for your mercy that has come, come forth every oh, morning. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for our oh, family and our ones. We thank you, thank you for oh, life. We thank you for healing. Deliverance. Thank you for supernatural oh, life. Jesus. Thank, you thank you for the manifestation of your power. Manifestation of your goodness. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Yes, Lord, we thank you this morning. We love you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you for our lives. Thank you that our names are written in the last book of life. We worship your presence. We thank you, Jesus. We adore you. We worship you, Jesus. We thank you, Jesus. We worship you, Jesus. We adore you, Jesus. Yes, Lord, we worship you. Yes, Lord, we praise your holy name. Yes, Lord, we give you the praise. We give you the adoration. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, yes, Lord. Thank you for this morning. Oh, thank you for our families. Thank you for our loved ones. Thank you for your God. Thank you for today. Thank you for this hour. Thank you, Father, for your supernatural power. Thank you for your touch. Thank you for the supernatural praise. Thank you for the supernatural touch. Oh, we praise you for this morning. Thank you, Lord. 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 Th
Take glory, take glory, take glory, holy ghost. I am born again. Take glory, take glory, take glory, holy ghost. I am born again. Take glory, take glory, take glory, holy ghost. I am born again. Take glory, take glory, take glory, holy ghost. I am born again. Take glory, take glory, take glory, holy ghost. I am born again. Take glory, take glory, take glory, holy ghost. I am born again. Take glory, Father. Take glory, Son. Take glory, Holy Ghost. I am born again. You are wonderful. You are worthy, O Lord. You are wonderful. You are worthy, O Lord. You are wonderful. You are worthy, O Lord. You are wonderful. You are worthy, oh wonderful. You are wonderful. wonderful. You are worthy, oh Lord. You are wonderful. You are worthy, oh wonderful. You are wonderful. Jesus, you are worthy, oh Lord. You are wonderful. You are worthy, oh wonderful. You are wonderful. Jesus, you are worthy, oh Lord. You are wonderful. You are worthy, oh wonderful. You are wonderful, Jesus. You are worthy, oh Lord. You are wonderful. You are worthy, oh Lord. We give you glory, Lord, as we honor you, Jesus. We give you glory, Lord, as we honor you. You are wonderful. You are worthy, oh Lord. You are wonderful. You are worthy, oh wonderful. You are wonderful, Jesus. You are worthy, oh Lord. You are wonderful. You are worthy, oh wonderful. You are wonderful, Jesus. You are worthy, oh Lord. You are wonderful. You are worthy, oh wonderful. You are wonderful, Jesus. You are worthy, oh Lord. You are wonderful. You are worthy, O Lord. We give you glory, Lord, as we honor you. Jesus, we give you glory, Lord, as we honor you. You are wonderful. You are worthy, O Lord. You are wonderful. You are worthy, O Lord. You are wonderful. You are worthy, O Lord. You are wonderful. You are worthy, oh wonderful. You are wonderful, Jesus. You are worthy, oh Lord. You are wonderful. You are worthy, oh wonderful. You are wonderful, Jesus. You are worthy, oh Lord. You are wonderful. You are worthy, oh wonderful. You are wonderful, Jesus. You are worthy, oh Lord. You are wonderful. She was worthy, O Lord. Glory, 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 glory to the Lamb. Say glory, 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 glory. Yes, Lord. Glory to the Lamb. For she was glorious and worthy to be praised. The Lamb of God. The Lamb upon the throne, the Lamb upon the throne, the Lamb upon the Lamb upon the throne, and unto you we lift our voice in worship. The Lamb upon the throne, the Lamb upon the throne, the Lamb upon the Lamb. 
upon that throne and unto you we lift our voice in worship the Lamb upon that throne the Lamb upon that throne the Lamb upon the Lamb upon that throne and unto you we lift our voice in worship the Lamb upon Oh, 
adore we shall do in heaven forever, forever, forever. Oh Lord, I will be settled in heaven forever, forever, forever. Oh Lord, I will be settled in heaven forever, forever, forever. Oh Lord, I will be settled in heaven. I want you to show your love for God this morning. Reverence, sing it, worship him, appreciate him, let him live on high, declare your love for him. I want you to say, I love you, Jesus. I love you, my Savior, my King, the Lord God Almighty. We love you, Father. There is none beside thee. There is none after thee. Oh, you are the only potent God. Praise, we praise you. you are the great I am. You are the God. You are the oh, I am. Oh, we bless you. We bless you. We bless you. Don't change the book of God. The ancient of the days. The one that has Jesus. persisted. Oh, you are the God of Abraham. Of Isaac of oh, Job. The faithful God. We love you. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, King of Glory. We thank you for life. We thank you for your loving kindness. We thank you for yet another day. We thank you that we are in your presence. We thank you for your word. This morning, the word of God is there. And it is spirit. And now we are in your presence. No one comes to your presence and remains in praise. Want to thank you for your faithfulness. Thank you for healing. Thank you for deliverance. We love you, Father. We love you, Father. Thank you for eternal life. Thank you for salvation of souls. Thank you for heaven. Thank you that our names are written in the land of God. Thank you for your promises that are yes and amen. Thank you, Father. You are the most high God. You are the eternal God. Thank you for perfecting. Thank you that you can make a way where there seem to do it. Mighty God, mighty warrior. Lord, we love you. Lord, we appreciate you. Lord, we thank you. Lord, you are faithfulness. Lord, you are glory. Lord, we love you. 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 Oh, Father, yes, bless Lord, you, we Holy Name. Thank we you, you're the you. eternal God. You're the faithful Jesus. God. We oh, you. we thank you, Jesus, for your mercy, for your love and kindness, your tender mercy. Oh, we praise yes, you, we praise you, we praise you. Oh, Father, we worship you, we worship you. We thank you for your church. We worship you, Jesus. Oh, we worship you. Oh, we love you, we love you, we love you. We love you, my God. We love you. We love you. Thank you for the gift of God. Oh, praise you, mighty God. In the name of Jesus. Of the oh, we worship you, we worship you, we worship you, Jesus, we worship you, we worship you, we worship you, we worship you, we worship you,
so unchanging. It's just one. You are my rock of peace, Lord of all. I depend on you. I call out to you. We call out to you again and again. We call out to you. I call out to you. Bless us, 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 bless us
by the blood of Jesus. We break the evil bond, evil association, evil attachment by the blood of Jesus Christ. We speak the blood of Jesus. 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 This morning in our body, our spirit, our soul, our love, our loved ones, our destinies, our future, tomorrow, today, forever, and ever. We speak the blood of the Lamb of God. The blood of Jesus Christ of that. The blood of Jesus Christ of the blood of Jesus Christ of the The blood of Jesus of my sickness and bondage, captivity, in the nation. We destroy every weapon, every agenda, every plan, satanic tactics, and devices, and devices, satanic devices, authentic and organizations, and things in our lives. Father, we break it. We will not go away destroying in the name of Jesus Christ of the In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. In the mighty name of Jesus. Revelation, you are blessed, and you will gain it every day by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of our testimony. You will come every strong man, every power, every sickness, every disease, every sinful affliction by the blood of Jesus Christ of the Lord. By the blood of Jesus Christ of the We defeat every satanic seed of sickness. We destroy every satanic seed of sicknesses. We destroy every satanic seed of of oppression, with a seed of affliction, with a seed of sickness, seed of limitation, seed of oppression, with a joy by the blood of Jesus Christ of Nashville. We pray the blood of Jesus. We pray the blood of Jesus. We stand on the word of God. Revelation 12, 11. And we destroy the rest of the by the blood of Jesus. We destroy every altar, every shrine, marine and the water spray. Voodoo. Satanic divination by the blood of Jesus Christ of the Lord. We place the blood of Jesus at this point over every human, every person, every person connected to this platform, every eye that is watching us, every ear that is hearing us. We place the blood of Jesus over their lives, the blood of Jesus over their hopes, the blood of Jesus over their body, spread and show the precious blood of the Lamb of God, the blood of Jesus over our children. The blood of Jesus of our families, the blood of Jesus of our loved ones, the blood of Jesus of our destinies, the blood of Jesus of our lives, the blood of Jesus now speak, the blood of Jesus now dreams, the blood of Jesus now going out, I'm coming in, the blood of Jesus this day, this month, this day, this year, the precious blood of the Lamb of God, the blood of Jesus Christ of the the blood of Jesus Christ of the over this day, this this month, this hour, this year, this month, the blood of Jesus over this day, 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 we destroy the rest of the enemy against our life this day in the name of Jesus Christ of the Lord. We destroy every captivity, every imprisonment, every oppression, every agenda, every purposes by the blood of Jesus Christ. Evil intentions, evil agenda, evil device, evil schemes and tactics were destroyed by the blood of Jesus Christ of the Lord. By the blood of Jesus Christ of the Lord. We pray the blood of Jesus this day over our lives, our destinies, our children, our loved ones, over your church, over this platform. The blood of Jesus Christ of the Lord of a manifestation of Judah ministries international. Oh, the blood of the Lamb of God, the blood of Jesus Christ of us, of our destinies, our lives, our, our movement. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. The blood of Jesus Christ of us. We play the blood. We play the blood of Jesus Christ of us. Over this day, this hour, this time, the blood of Jesus Christ of us. The blood of Jesus Christ of us. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
The blood of Jesus Christ this day and forevermore. The blood of Jesus this day and forevermore. The blood of Jesus this day and forevermore. The blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus this day and forevermore. 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 Jesus Christ. 
Your name is so great. I want you to pray and thank God for this morning. The Lord has touched you. Thank you. The Lord has touched you. Thank you for As you come on this ground for your presence. You cannot be the same for your goodness. As you turn your face without word, you cannot be the same to repent. Praise the Lord. Thank you. God has touched you. Special grace. Special grace. Special grace. Thank you. Special grace. In the name of Jesus. We adore you. Oh, we thank you for your presence. Oh, we thank you for visitation. Oh, we thank you, Jesus. God is good all the time. And all the time, God is good. God is good. All the time. And all the time, God, God is good. We give God all the praise and adoration. Praise the Lord. Amen. I love it. Your life will never be the same. Your life will never be the same. Amen. You move from glory to glory. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. I want to encourage everyone that comes on to share for us. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let your presence be felt. Amen. Praise the Lord. Come on. Hallelujah. The woman of God is praying leading but you won't share it's not a good thing amen. praise the lord we are all people of god children amen. of god unity must be a portion oneness must be a portion amen. and most of the time praise the lord we want god to touch us amen. when you see a woman of god coming on every dawn pray but you won't share amen. but you want to be part of it praise the lord. god is the god of love amen. and a god of order amen. praise the lord amen. god is a god of of, of faithfulness, Amen. of genuineness. Amen. So you and I, our love must be genuine. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Our love must be genuine. If you come on the set, praise the Lord. Amen. As long as the woman of God is praying, Amen. be be a partaker of it. Amen. If the woman of God is asking to share, beloved, be part of it. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Partake in it. Praise Amen. the Lord. And help build the kingdom of God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Don't, let let not be selfish. Praise Amen. the Lord. Let do things from our heart. Amen. Praise the Lord. And the Lord who sees, sees in secret will bless us. Amen. The Lord who sees our doings. Praise the Lord. Amen. Our love. Praise the Lord. Will reward us Amen. according to the way that we should be rewarded. Praise Amen. the Lord. You shouldn't be selfish. Amen. Praise the Lord. If you are selfish and conceited in every way, you will not receive the promises of God. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. It is very important to show love. Amen. Praise Amen. Without love, Pastor, you cannot be a child of God. He who does not love Amen. cannot be a child of God. Amen. It is the word of God. Praise the Lord. Amen. He who does not love is not a child of God. Amen. For God is love. Amen. So everything that you do, let love go Amen. before you. Praise the Lord. Amen. Share when you come in. Come on it. Praise the Lord. Show the love of God by Amen. sharing. Praise the Lord. Share Amen. to your brother, your sister, afar of you. 
The word of God is life and a spirit. Amen. The word of God is to benefit you and I. It's to build us up. The word of God is the sword of the spirit. Amen. So if you have opportunity to be on, Amen. praise the Lord. Amen. And you don't share. Beloved, you are being selfish. Amen. And you are being selfish. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. If you want God to grant your request as to why you are on praying with us, then you have to be like-minded with us. Praise the Lord. Amen. Be ready to show love. Amen. Be ready to give your heart every bit of you. Amen. Praise the Lord. By sharing, by being part of it. Praise the Lord. Amen. If you are selfish, you cannot receive the promise of God. Amen. If you are considered in your thought and mind, God will not touch you. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. So you have to show love when you come with the work of God. Be part of it so that the supernatural will come. Hallelujah. Lose yourself from every heaviness of the enemy. Lose yourself from jealousy, guilt. Praise the Lord. Lose yourself from strife. Lose yourself from everything that will stop you from getting your blessing. Praise and show love. Praise the Lord. And as you show love, the God of the heavens will reward you secretly. Praise and add to you. God bless you. I want you to, to share for us. Share for us. Do us a favor and share for us. God bless you. God bless you for coming on. God bless you for sharing. God bless you for being part of this. You are going to do this every time. Praise the Lord. We trust that you'll be part of it and your life will never be the same. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Be part of it. Be part of it. Praise the Lord. You and I together. Be part of it. Make sure you're always on long time. Praise the Lord. Position yourself to pray. Position yourself to hear the word of God. Position yourself to move forward. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Have that mentality that you are moving forward at Amen. all costs. Praise the Lord. And we are also in agreement with you. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. God richly bless you for coming on. God richly bless you for being part of it. We love you. I have been your host, Prophetess Mami Juliana. I have been your host, Prophetess Mami Juliana. I'm here with Prophetess Mary. I'm here with Prophetess Rayma mm -hmm. and Prophet Noah mm -hmm. and Pastor Paul. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. So we are five here. God which bless you. God which bless you. Until we come your way again. Bye bye. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you for watching. Bye bye. See you. Morning time. Bye bye. Dawn time. Bye.